dear students assalamu alaikum today we will discuss how to run box jenkin methodology for arima modeling in ebios we are generating a random variable for our practice with respect to time series and the time is we take time in years for our practice you may take time in months in hours or any other thing in other unit but here we are taking time in years just like 1990 to 91 and so on we are generating it uh, 1991 1992 and so on till let's suppose 2015 and our variable of interest is variable uh, we generate some random numbers for our practice it is this is our random variable with respect to time time start from 1990 to 2015 and we want to run a arima model in this variable so in avios we create a new work file and as we have a regular frequency of time period so we select regular frequency and it is annual basis you you may have different frequency like multi year semi annual quarterly monthly bi monthly and many more but as we have variable on yearly basis so we select here annual start date is 1990 and last date is 2015 okay and in this option quick we select empty group edit series and this our values of our variable we uh, copy it control c and we paste our variable here and you may give the name of your variable just like uh, as y you may give any other name according to your variable now the first thing in box jenkin methodology is stationarity first stationarity is to be checked for the variable so we again go in this option quick and in series statistics we make uh, we apply unit root test unit root test for stationarity unit root test series name as we give the name y to our series so we write it here y okay and in there are different type of tests available in evios for checking the stationarity of our very uh, time series variable we use augmented dicky fuller at level and include in test equation we include intercept you may include trend and intercept or none and okay Here, these are the results of augmented Dicky Fuller test at level, and its probability is uh, first of all the null hypothesis y has a unit root, and as the probability is less than zero point zero five, so we reject our null hypothesis, and null hypothesis says that our variable has a unit root means the variable 
has non stationarity property but as according to the probability we reject our null hypothesis and state that our variable is stationary at level because alternative hypothesis is y has no unit root it means that y variable has stationarity property and as the variable is stationary we do not have any requirement of applying any transformation like differencing to make our variable stationary now uh, we again go in quick section and in three statistics we select correlogram correlogram of our variable y okay and because our variable is stationary at level so we also make correlogram at level and okay this is our correlogram of our variable and the correlogram is required to check the values of our arima models parameter p and q the autocorrelation will help us in obtaining the values of p and partial correlation will help us to obtain the values of q the significant spikes the number of significant spikes in the autocorrelation function graph will tell us the possible values of p and significant spikes of partial correlation will help us to define uh, to uh, give the values of q as you see here that the significant spikes in autocorrelation is 1 and in partial correlation function the significant spikes is also 1 it is here it is so we may say that in the possible values of p and q are 1 for both so our possible model for this variable is arima with p is equal to 1 d is equal to 0 q is equal to 1 d is equal to 0 because d is a differencing operator which shows that our variable is integrated at level 0 because our variable is stationary at level so now we move towards estimation of equation of arima model as our variable is y so we write it here y in c intercept and ar value of 1 and ma value of 1 because our ar parameter is also equal to 1 and ma parameter q is also equal to 1 so we write here this is the equation for arima 1 0 1 and okay these are the estimated results for arima 101 here c is intercept and its value is 0.54 ar1 auto regressive lag of order 1 its coefficient is minus 0 0.5 and ma1 moving average 1 its coefficient is equal to 0.63 the these are the probability values which show the significance of our this variable or this coefficient as p value this probability value is less than 0.5 then we may say that the variable is significant but as you know that we generate this variable for in excel for our practice so don't bother the insignificant values of probability here the archaic information criteria is its value is 0.818 and Schwarz criteria 1.01 .01. the model having least values of AIC and Schwarz criteria will be preferred and uh, considered best from all other possible models of different parameters this is the simple method to run an arima model and 
to check its properties now in this view option you may obtain different measures just like actual fitted residuals graphs tables and residual graphs and in this coefficient diagnostic checks you may obtain different tests for this VIF conference ellipse conference intervals and in residual diagnostic checks you may obtain the correlogram of Q statistics, correlogram of scared residuals, normality of residuals. There are different possible tests available in eViews. This is the simple and easy method to run a box in methodology. Dear students, subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more informative videos. Also like and share our videos and comment your suggestions for our improvement. Thanks.